Welcome to 411carline.com. You can find us at 411carline.com. The free Carfax is available on our website there. You can set up an appointment, 952-540-9000, or on our website. We have this 2012 Honda Odyssey. It's a local trade-in. They upgraded to a Pilot. It's been fully inspected by a third-party mechanic shop. Got new rear shocks. I'm trying to remember what else. New rear shocks, oil change, air filter, cabin filter. Um, there was one other thing, but I can't remember it offhand. Tires are Sentry all seasons. They're in decent condition. Tread depth is uh, pretty decent yet. Probably 75%. Or better, I would say. It's an EXL, so it's got the moonroof, heated leather seats. Um, we do have a couple things to do reconditioning wise yet. I just wanted to get a video while I was taking pictures. Um, it's got memory seats, uh, power mirrors, blind spot indicators, power seats, moonroof. Pop in here. I took the keys out. It's got on the remote, it's got the power doors, power rear gate, everything. So it has 76, 343 on it. It does have the navigation system, also has backup camera. Um, it has heated seats, as I mentioned. Uh, AUGS port down here, a couple power outlets, 12 volt outlets. Uh, it has this little box here which you can put whatever in, but it's also got this cool box button so you put your hand in there, uh, you can keep things cold, whether you put your you know, Nalgene in there or water bottle or whatever, it'll keep it cold. So, kind of neat. Factory manuals in there, dual automatic climate control. So um, you can just set it on auto, and right now it's synced. When you unsync it, you can change both of these here. So it's got the Homelink garage door opener up here, which is the universal garage door opener. You can program to your, uh, to your garage at home. Um, I'm sorry, I just saw a car that looked very much like one of ours, but it, uh, is not. <laughs> it's like that shouldn't be driving away. Anyways. No phone is connected. Uh, so it does Would have you like Bluetooth. To the phone to connect? No, we don't want to do that right now. Go back to map. Uh, it has um, the hands-free is on the steering wheel here. Uh, steering wheel, cruise control, all on the steering wheel. Steering wheel. Radio controls, cruise control, all on the steering wheel. It's getting to be the end of a Saturday here. Staying a little late to get some stuff done because I don't always come in on time. Automatic headlights. It has traction control, blind spot monitor as I mentioned, blind spot monitor off, blind spot monitor on, and then it has the power doors. You can hear it opening and actually see it in the... Let's see if we can see it in that mirror over there. Open. Yep, works as it should. Again, moonroof, uh, park assist, are the parking sensors on the back, so it has, actually I think it has them on the front as well, so uh, it's kind of a handy feature. If you park in tight spaces or in a garage or anything like that, um, center console. I think I forgot to take a picture of the center console. Anyways, open this door again. It's got the extra jumper seat, so this one is an eight passenger, which is kind of nice. I saw two sets of headphones in here for the uh, rear entertainment, which is here, and it works. I think the AUGS, or I think the source for it, um, I was looking, there's an HDMI thing there, and then on this side over here, there's a uh, plug-in and then a normal um, a normal, what do you call it, AV 
uh, plug-in. So, um, and these do have the shades. You can see the little tab there. So you put these shades up. If you have uh, young children, babies, whatever. Uh, it does have climate control back here and all that can be controlled from the master controls up there along with the rear entertainment but it does have its own remote you push this button pops down it's of course got door close buttons inside back seat is pretty clean this is a family vehicle so it's in relatively good condition being a family vehicle Wheels are overall pretty good. A little bit of curb rash, a little bit of uh, uh, corrosion, but not terrible. I'll have to go over defects in another video or something because we still need to do a little bit of uh, paint touch up and stuff on this one. We have it professionally done, so just came back from detail. So it's got, uh, of course, three seats back here as well. Um, it took me a minute to figure these out, but actually different than Toyota's. You just pull on this, it flips back, boom, stone. Just folds right in there, pull it out, pull this back, and boom, it's back up. And it doesn't need to be leaned back that far. You can, uh, you can uh, lean it forward a little bit too, right there. That's where I spotted the HDMI. You can see that that one, or that has a uh, screen for the window there too, and rear defrost for those windows. Uh, it's got the winter floor mats, or all weather floor mats, as we call them. See that obviously that that rest is folded down there. Um, this one folds down into an armrest as well. Cup holders and everything. Better fold this back up. Otherwise, it'll make marks if it's folded down like that. Um, that jumper seat is removable as well as are these. And then those back seat are obviously stone go. I guess I haven't opened this, so hopefully uh, whatever is under it detail clean. I think that's the compartment. I don't know. I guess I'd have to. Oh, that's where the spare is and everything. I thought that, that was the case, but. There we go. Close that. Close this. Again, overall, pretty, pretty good condition with the year and the miles. Of course it's not perfect, it has some scratches and stuff. So you have to get a little touch up done on the rear bumper and then the front bumper has some rock dripping and it's some scratching and stuff. Open the hood here. My phone does pick up the valve train noise so you might hear some ticking. Nothing to be alarmed about, it just picks up stuff that the human ear doesn't pick up. Pretty clean under here, runs smooth. It's a Honda, so longevity. Take a look underneath here. It's actually pretty clean for a Minnesota vehicle. I think it's been a Minnesota vehicle, that's why usually you get at least some surface rust. And I'm really not seeing much under this one. Exhaust is normal to look like that for uh, these miles because it gets condensation on the inside too. So yeah, overall looks pretty decent. Again, it's not a brand new vehicle, so it's got some, uh, some minor scratches and stuff. And silver is really hard to touch up, so I probably wouldn't even touch those up. We'll see if the paint guy wants to, but you 
can find the Carfax on our website, 411carline.com. Set up an appointment there or by calling 952-540-9000. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.